Watson, who is David McCullough, correct? IBM's Watson, the technology that beat two humans on Jeopardy two years ago, may be the technology that helps doctors beat cancer. Dr. Arthur Forney at West Med Medical Group in New York is testing Watson in the form of an iPad app during its pilot phase. So here Watson was given a very unusual case, a young Asian woman, non-smoker, who has lung cancer. So now you, you, you tell Watson to do its thing, and it's now looking at the data you inputted, the data from her imaging, from her biopsy. In 17 seconds, Watson has analyzed about 3,500 textbooks and 400,000 other pieces of data. This is the screen where it shows you that after looking at what you have so far, it would consider that you do several other things for the patient that it doesn't see yet in the chart. In an instant, Watson has figured out what caused this cancer. It turns out she has a very rare genetic mutation, uh, which is accounting for her cancer. And offered three treatment options. It has shown that treatment one has a 95% confidence of, of being effective, whereas treatment two is only half that. Is this um, so obscure that you would have needed Watson for the diagnosis and treatment, or would not call just come up with the same treatment plan? In fact, this is such a new discovery of this particular mutation, and it's a relatively new drug as well, that my guess is that many oncologists may not be quite up to speed yet. Watson gets its wisdom from Dr. Andrew Seidman and a team at New York's Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. 1,500 lung cancer cases so far, and breast cancer cases as well. Lab results, physician's notes, and clinical research have been fed into the supercomputer, along with medical journals and textbooks. We are trying to challenge Watson right now in the training process with common cases and not so common cases. So the, the Watson system that we built is, in, is a machine that's about this size. Uh, we've done a lot of engineering on that since then. So Watson Chief Technology Officer Rob High says the achievement is staggering. Watson learns about language. And that's the really profound breakthrough here is that it is in the language that we understand each other. That breakthrough and Watson's remarkable accuracy could help doctors eliminate unnecessary procedures and costs and disrupt the $2.8 trillion healthcare industry. It's a partnership between physician and patient, between information technology and the healthcare environment. I think it is a game changer. It can aid the physician in, in a way that's nothing we've ever had before. This is so fascinating. You know, they said they're giving Watson more and more challenges. How is Watson doing so far, you know, with cases ranging from the common to the exceptionally unique? So far, Watson's accuracy is remarkable. They, they expect nothing lower than 85% to 95%, and so far it has proven out to hit those numbers. It, it really is amazing. They wanted that for Jeopardy, and they're seeing it again with the cancer. So what about when then? I mean, there's all this talk about Watson's potential. When is Watson going to be ready to treat people? It's pretty close. They're continuing the beta tests. They think they'll be done by around the end of the year, and patients could start using it, and doctors.